Hi everyone, today I'm going to be making pineapple bread. What all goes into pineapple bread? 3 fourths cups sugar, 1 half cup unsalted butter softened, 2 eggs, 1 and a half cups flour, 2 teaspoons baking powder, 1 cup crushed pineapple, and then you're going to need 1 fourth cup pineapple syrup that you reserved, and 1 eighth teaspoon salt. For the glaze, you'll need 1 cup powdered sugar, 1 teaspoon vanilla, and 2 tablespoons of pineapple syrup, plus more as needed. So let's begin. First thing you need to do is preheat your oven to 350. Take an 8 by 4 loaf pan and either line it with parchment paper or spray it with non-stick cooking spray and I'm going to spray it. Take a large bowl, dump in your softened butter, which was one half cup or one stick, and three fourths cup sugar, and whisk them together until light and fluffy. And for this, I'm gonna use the mixer. The rest I'll probably just mix by hand. So next add the eggs, one egg at a time. And mix that in. Add the last egg. I'm thinking Dave's gonna like this. He loves anything pineapple. Take a small bowl and mix the flour, which was one and a half cups, the two teaspoons of baking powder, and the eighth teaspoon of salt, and mix them all together. So mix half of the dry ingredients and the fourth cup of the pine reserved pineapple juice in with the egg mixture and mix that up. Then add the last of the flour and the two tablespoons of milk and then mix that until thoroughly combined. That is all mixed. Then fold in your one cup of pineapple and I drained it the best I could but there's still a little bit liquid. Fold that in until just mix, do not over mix. Otherwise your bread will be too dense. And we want a moist, soft bread. All right, that looks pretty good and I hope I didn't over mix it. Then pour that into your prepared pan. So spread that out. So put your pineapple bread in a preheated 350 degree oven for 45 to 55 minutes until the toothpick comes out clean. If it gets to the top starting getting too brown, then tent it with some aluminum foil. All right, so it's been in the oven for 
45 minutes at 25 minutes. I tinted it with the aluminum foil. So because I opened up the door before it was ready, it did sink in just a little bit. But we'll check it and see if it is done. If not, we'll put it in the oven for about another five minutes. And it actually is almost done. I think I'll put it in for about two more minutes. So I put it back in the 350 degree oven without the foil for three minutes. Let's see if the toothpick comes out clean now. And it does. So we'll let it cool in the pan for 10 minutes before we take it out and put it on a cooling rack to completely cool. I always like to use a butter knife and go around the side just to double check, make sure that it's not gonna stick. And it will make it easier when you get ready to dump it out. Now with the glaze, if you want runny glaze, make it up and pour it on the bread while it's still warm. Not hot, but warm. Or if you want a thicker glaze, which is what I'm going to do, make sure that it is completely cool. To make the glaze, take a small bowl, dump in the one cup of powdered sugar, the one teaspoon of vanilla, and the two tablespoons of the pineapple juice that was reserved. And if you need more, you still have some left over from the can. Mix it until thoroughly combined. Now, if you want to, you know, color it, make it yellow, you can add some food coloring. All right, so we've got that all mixed up. Then take your glaze and just drizzle it on. And it'll go off on the side, and that's fine. And then we'll let it set for just a little bit. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, before it sets, I'm gonna take some of my yellow sprinkles and just kind of sprinkle the top of that. Just to give it a little bit of color and extra sugary goodness. Now we'll let it sit for a little bit and then we'll add some cut up maraschino cherries to put on the top. All right, so I'm not a very good decorator, so you can laugh at me. I'm gonna make kind of like a little sun here. May look like a bug, I don't know. And didn't look like I set up, let the icing set up very long. Okay, I'm going to let the rest of it set up before I put any more on there because I was fighting with that one. All right, so I'm impatient. It probably hasn't set up enough, but I'm going to go ahead and finish decorating this. I'm just going to put some little circles here. Yeah, I think it's set up pretty good now. Ta-da! My awesome decorating. We're just going to set it aside until Dave gets home. Then we'll cut it up, serve it to him, and see what he thinks. So here is the pineapple bread. We'll get Dave to do a taste test. I can smell, smell like pineapple. Yes, it's pineapple bread. Okay. Glaze on top. Pineapple glaze. Hmm. I like this a lot. Recipe deals for easy meals. Please like, 
subscribe, and share. This is Cooking with Sherry. Until we meet again.